So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back today with some more Master League action. Now it is of course the end of the season, which means, well, it's time to just advance time and see what happens. So if we go into here, we'll have a quick look at, uh, if we can find the right one here, schedule. You can see we've got negotiation day, this is going to run through, then we've got Arsenal in a training match. We're obviously not going to play those, then we've got negotiation day, opening day of the transfer window, uh, and then a couple more things before we do get to uh, sort of next season. So let's go through it. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we get any sort of contract negotiations and just play with it. Now, I'm not going to really start another one because it's not worth it. You know, PES 2016 is, of course, now around the corner. Gamescom's coming out. There's going to be a lot of gameplay shown there. The demo's going to be out. We're going to be playing that as well. So, uh, you know, I don't even know if it's worth signing a new Master League, but we're just going to, you know, just sort of see what happens. So... Here we go. Let's uh, just skip this one. There's no need to play a training match. What's the point? It is the end of the season. I don't even know why these are even part of the game. I mean, it's, it's done and dusted now. But anyway, did win 1-0 against Arsenal. Continue to win games. We have 17 million currently in the bank. So we'll keep going a little bit further. You know, should I change teams? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to see if we do get any sort of offers from other clubs. I'm not sure how it's going to work. This year in Master League. This is the first Master League campaign I've finished on PES 2015. So let's advance this through once more. Well, it was a good season. You know, we ended up finishing second. We won the Champions League. We didn't do that great when it came to the actual uh, FA Cup. But overall, did win a trophy. So here we go. The competition prize money has been paid out. So we've got 7.8 million for coming second. 60,000, kind of pathetic there for the FA Cup, but we did win 4.8 million for winning the Champions League. So current funds of 29 million. Uh, the annual sponsorship fees, there it is. Team salary of uh, minus 60. That's a lot. And then the transfer window is open, but we're not going to really worry about that too much. If we're going to buy players, we'll buy them at the start of the season. So just going through, 14 players were selected for the national teams. Not too worried about that either. All fixtures for this season have been completed. Now it's time to turn your attention to the transfer window. If you're a national team manager, of course we're not, so we don't have to worry about that. So we'll have a look at the club ranking update. See if there's any change. If we, we should have gone up, to be fair. We'll have a look. Uh, oh, wow. We're up to fourth in the club rankings. That is very, very impressive. Ahead of Man City, ahead of Arsenal, Chelsea, United. Bayern Munich remain first. Real Madrid second, Barcelona third. But I'll tell you what, that is pretty impressive. Let's take a look at the league rankings. Uh, the Premier League is number one. Then uh, the City of Ass second, La Liga third, French League's fourth. So look at the uh, national team ranking. Let's see how they've got that one. Germany are second, Spain first, Brazil third, Argentina fourth, Italy fifth, France sixth, England seventh. Uh, I mean, that's pretty uh, pretty good, realism-wise. There isn't any, uh, you know, Wales aren't up there. What well, the Wales are like number, what, 10 now in the real world, which is a little bit surprising. So players have returned. So we have the South American Player of the Year has been announced. Let's take a look at who has won it. So we have number one, Cara of Sao Paulo. Adromero second. And then Gutierrez finishing in third. Not that I know <laughs> really any of those players. I'm not a huge sort of South American fan. Not that the football isn't good. I just... Don't watch any in my spare time. So let's advance this through. I think we're getting now towards the end of the season. It should be completed. The transfer window continues. I mean, I don't really see the point of buying players at the end of the season. I mean, it should really just start you off in the next season. And then you can start buying players. Whereas uh, you have to sort of advance time now. Do this, do that. Not even sure if I'm going to stay with Liverpool. So it will be a waste of time even buying anyone. So here's the contract renewal stage. It'll be interesting to see, are there any other offers? All fixes for these have been completed. There are some teams who have expressed an interest in your services. Now is the time to choose. So here we go. This is uh, D-Day right now. Another team is interested in hiring you. Let's have a look 
who it is. Okay, so let's take a look at the clubs that are offering uh, me a contract. So we do have Liverpool, obviously they want to renew it. Uh, I thought I could actually sort of see how much uh, they're offering, but we, we can't see that. And we have Manchester United, obviously, quite a big team there. They have a, a lot of money to spend. If I do go to United on this Master League, yes, I will be trying to buy sort of Depay back, Schneiderlin, Schweinsteiger, Damian and all that, so... Let me know in the comments who you guys want me to go to. We have Arsenal as well. They have a financial report of 55 million, also quite a lot of cash. Uh, Chelsea, finishing with a 63 million for them. Uh, we have Man City as well. Obviously, they won the league, 64 million. Or we can go to Juventus in the city of A. They have a total of 60 million. So all of these teams obviously heavily stacked, with a lot of money. Atletico Madrid, they have 47 million to spend. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain, 62 million. We have Ajax of 27 million. And then uh, Porto, 33 million. And then we sort of go into the South American side. So I'm not really going to worry too much about them. So really the teams that I'm going to be interested in going to are the likes of PSG, Atletico, Juventus, City, Chelsea, Arsenal, and Man United, or... Should we stay at Liverpool? Let me know in the comments who you guys want me to go to next season if I do go to United. And, you know, I don't mind going to them. Obviously, I will try and buy the latest players. So there we have it. That's all for this episode. I'm not going to advance any further until you guys let me know who you want me to be in the next season. Uh, be sure to subscribe for some more. Lots more content to come. Gamescom, of course, coming up very shortly. But until next time, take care.